Let's talk about sex. Hey guys, it's Grace, and I feel like, one, I haven't talked to you guys in a super long time because I've been at NSLC for a month and I just got back like this week, and two, I feel like I'm like throwing it back with this wall um, because I haven't filmed in front of this wall in a really, really long time. <laughs> Anyways, today I am not here to talk about either of those things, um, but I am here to talk about asexuality. So I wanted to talk about this because it's something that's very near and dear to my heart and that I've gone through a lot of like exploration with in my life so far and it's something that I haven't talked to a lot of people about, but now I kind of feel comfortable talking about it. I feel like there's not a lot of resources online or just in a lot of people's lives about this kind of thing, so I definitely wanted to bring it up. So this is just my experience with this. Um, yours may be completely 100% different. You can take all of my advice, you can take none of my advice, um, but I just wanted to put this out there for anyone who may need it. First off, I have some notes down here, so that is why I am looking down at some points, um, but I just want to talk about the definition of asexuality because people get a little bit confused about that and don't really understand what it means to be asexual. Um, so the definition that I have found that works for me is someone who does not experience sexual attraction. So there's a difference between sexual attraction and romantic attraction and there's like aesthetic attraction too, but I'm just gonna go um, and define sexual attraction and romantic attraction for you guys. So sexual attraction, it's basically when someone like makes you desire sexual contact or show sexual interest. So like you look at someone and you're like, wow, I would really like to have sex with them. That's sexual attraction and romantic attraction is when um, someone like desires a romantic connection or interaction. So it's not like the sexual aspect of it, it's the romantic and they like see someone and they're like, oh, I'd really like to be in a relationship with that person. Asexuality, people do not feel sexual attraction. Obviously it's on a spectrum no matter what, so some people who are asexual um, don't have sexual attraction at all and they don't like to have sex and maybe they don't even want to be in a romantic relationships and then some asexual people don't have sexual attraction but enjoy sex or you know will do it for their partner um, but they do enjoy it and then some people who are asexual don't enjoy sex or don't enjoy masturbating or anything like that it's really on a spectrum and it really depends on you and what your preferences are my experience with asexuality um i have felt that way like most of my life and I didn't really know what it was or like how to put a label on it but people would talk about like being sexually attracted to someone or like wanting to have sex with someone and I just was like never interested and I never really voiced that I wasn't interested because it's not something that you really voice as like a teen girl around other teen girls and honestly I thought there was something wrong with me but there's nothing wrong with me at all. Being, being gay or being lesbian or even being bi is more talked about than asexuality is um, and it's not necessarily in a positive connotation that it's talked about but it is more open in the world whereas asexuality most people don't really know what that is or most people that I've encountered don't really know what that is um, so it's something that's hard to identify when you don't even know the term for it um, but I just just know that you're not alone and you're doing nothing wrong and there's nothing wrong with you. Um, that's just how you feel. So there's a whole debate of whether asexuality is on the LGBTQA plus all of that uh, on that spectrum and I would say that it is. Um, I personally have gotten asked if I like identify 
as an LGBTQ member? And my answer is always yes and no. Um, because I also, I'll talk about it later, but I've come a long way on my like asexuality discovery. Um, so I think yes and no. I think it differs depending on each person, but I definitely think that they should be considered as part of the spectrum because if you're not a straight like heterosexual person then I think you can be considered on the spectrum. I also um, met others with the same experience as me so actually a couple of people in my school and I went online and looked on a lot of like they have asexuality forums and like websites that you can look and it's just something that you don't really know that there's so much knowledge and so many resources for you until you actually look for it and seek it out and I think that's something anybody in the LGBTQ like community can look for as well like you're not alone there's always other people who are dealing with the same things as you and you just have to look for them and then I kind of like took on the asexual identity I guess you could say um I was like looking for like pride flags for asexuality and sometimes they wear like a black ring um that kind of like symbolizes asexuality not all asexuals do obviously um but it's just kind of one of those things where you can like look at someone and see that they have that and kind of like know that you are understood that was like a couple years ago for me um, and I've definitely progressed so now I no longer really identify as asexual um, because I've had a lot of experiences um, especially with my current boyfriend where I was like oh okay this is what it feels like to be like sexually attracted to someone I still don't really know where I stand with all of it and I really honestly don't need a label. I don't feel like I have to have a label for me to be comfortable with myself and just to be okay with like whatever comes my way and whatever I'm feeling. Um, but that's kind of where I am right now. I also struggle with like, I feel sexual attraction but it's not really sexual attraction and like I want to be in a physical relationship with my significant other but I still don't think I really feel sexual attraction it's weird for me because I've like never felt sexual attraction before so it's like okay I is this actually what it feels like or am I just like feeling something that I've never felt before because I have strong feelings for someone and that's never really happened before personally I would say that now the closest thing that I'd identify as is demisexual, which I will read you the definition of right now. Basically, a demisexual is someone who doesn't experience primary sexual attraction, but may experience secondary sexual attraction after a close emotional bond has formed. So basically, in order to have like some form of sexual attraction, they have to have an emotional bond with the person before that happens which I think is kind of what I'm experiencing or is the closest thing to what I'm experiencing but again I really don't feel the need to label it and I think if you want to label it that's a hundred percent okay if you feel more comfortable you know being labeled and having a community that will support you and other people who also use a label that experience the same exact thing I feel like that's great and if that helps you like tell other people how you're feeling um, I think that's a lot of why we use labels too is the fact that it's like it's not necessarily for us but it's more for other people to understand how we feel without us really having to explain it but yeah I, I think either way if you are comfortable with the label do it if that makes you feel better do it but if that's not something that you need then I think you're fine with that one okay guys I'm sorry if that was a bit of a ramble and very confusing but I have a lot of feelings about this topic and I haven't really talked about it yet so I wanted to get it out there if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe down below for more. If you'd like to, you can check out my previous video on this side of the screen and my previous vlog on that side of the screen. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day and I will see you in my next video. Bye.